let me add, share a couple of uh, slides to probably tell you certain important things which I don't want to miss. Can you hear? Yes, doctor. Yes, yes, ma'am. So, so basically, I played a video on elastography. Elastography is another one, tool. It's a new tool which kind of identifies the stiffness of the tissue. All right. So basically, using elastography, we can make out whether a particular tissue is more hard or soft. So this can help in two ways. One is if you're looking at breast cancer imaging, when we add elastography, elastography and the one tool na ultrasound jate add madaga, adu consistency of the tissue no check madate. So in case the tissue is harder than the rest of the tissues, our area nali cancer iro chances jasti. So you are gonna biopsy madaga yav area in the biopsy marti vi antanna decide madonna navi elastography nu ultrasound jothege add maadi madidre namge chances of diagnosis miss maado chances kadme in fact uh, ee particular test na navu mirror health an marti vi and off late thumba jana patients where they were suspicious and the clinicians ke and the doctors ke Breast cancer irbodu and the one suspicion itu, but biopsy a horgade madi drani negative and the one. So anta situationally now e tool na haki kandid the divi. Dr. Govindrajan has done biopsies and in fact we have made a good or uh, accurate diagnosis of whatever is the problem. And these ladies have actually undergone treatment. So this is another tool which can be used to further improve the possibility of an accurate diagnosis. So, other now mirror health al marti bi. Other jote ge e elastography na na wo cervical imaging. Antandre iba ga esto janak ke pregnancy agirate. Aur ge murne tinglali atwa naakne tinglali abortion ag budate. Ya kendra aur health tar ay uterus by aston tighta hold akta ila magu na anta. But actually. Stitch hakbeka bedwa and the tilkodake, but the length of the cervix na measure madate saka galla. Kela sati length chana girate, but cervix soft agirate. Anta situationally, you get stitch beka bodu. Atwa infection a treat madre, e cervix hardness improve ag bodu. Atwa progesterone kododrinda, e cervix strong ag bodu. So in the situationally, nabu elastography anta one mad butto. This cervix is hard to IVF pregnancies are IVF pregnancies go stitch hako necessity illa. Yella twin pregnancies ke stitch hako necessity illa. Yar hak peko aur matra hak pek now. Ilaidre unnecessary agnos stitch hakadre as stitch infect agbuto or abortion ago chances irate. Anta situationally we can use this cervical elastography. Idhna Bengdurali, in fact, India dalle yaru martha I think there is only one set of people who are doing it in Delhi. So adbitre yaru martha ila. 
ಸೊ ಇಂಥ ಸಿಚುವೇಶನಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾರಿಗಾದ್ರೂ ಮುಂಚೆ ಅಬಾರ್ಷನ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಅಥವಾ ಅವ್ರು ತುಂಬಾ ಹೈ ರಿಸ್ಕ್ ಪ್ರೆಗ್ನೆನ್ಸಿ ಇದಾರೆ ಕನ್ಸೀವ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಅಬಾರ್ಷನ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೋ ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ಭಯ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಸಿಚುವೇಶನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಈ ಸರ್ವೈಕಲ್ ಎಲಾಸ್ಟೋಗ್ರಫಿನ ಎನ್ ಟಿ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಜೊತೆ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಅದು ತುಂಬಾ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಎಷ್ಟೋ ಜನಕ್ಕೆ ಸೊ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ಲಿ ಇವೆಲ್ಲ ನಾವು ಅಲ್ಟ್ರಾಸೌಂಡ್ ಜೊತೆಗೇನೆ ಮಾಡೋದ್ರಿಂದ ನೀವೇನು ಅಡಿಷನಲ್ ಪ್ರಿಪರೇಷನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದು ಬೇಕಾಗಿಲ್ಲ ಆಕ್ಸೆಸಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಈಸಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅವೈಲೇಬಲ್ ಅಟ್ ಮಿರರ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಇವೆಲ್ಲ ಕಟಿಂಗ್ ಎಚ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ವಿಚ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ನೋ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಟೆಲ್ ಯು ದಟ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇವಾಗ ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ನ ಹೆಂಗ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದು ಅನ್ನೋದು ತುಂಬಾ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಪೀಪಲ್ ಶುಡ್ ನೋ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಇಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಫುಲ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಅ ಮಂತ್ ತಿಂಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಸತಿ ಟೂ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಡೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ಸ್ ನೀವು ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಗೊತ್ತಾಯ್ತಾ ಯಾಕೆಂದ್ರೆ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಹಾರ್ಮೋನಲ್ ಇಶ್ಯೂಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಹಾರ್ಮೋನಲ್ ಇಂಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅವಾಗ ಯು ಮೇ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈ ಇಫ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಹೆಂಗ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನ್ ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆರ್ಮ್ ಬಿಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಅ ರೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ಮ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಕೈನ ಮೇಲೆ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡು ಯೂಶಲಿ ಇವಾಗ ರೈಟ್ ಆರ್ಮ್ ಇಂದ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ನ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ಮ್ ಇಂದ ರೈಟ್ ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಆರ್ಮ್ ಪಿಟ್ ಎರಡೂ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ನೀವ್ ಹೆಂಗ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಐಡಿಯಲಿ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಫಿಂಗರ್ ಟಿಪ್ಸ್ ನ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ನೀವು ಕೈನಲ್ಲಿರೋ ಫಿಂಗರ್ ಟಿಪ್ಸ್ ಐಡಿಯಲಿ ಈ ಮೂರ್ ಫಿಂಗರ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಮಿಡಲ್ ಫಿಂಗರ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಿ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಫಿಂಗರ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಥಮ್ ಈ ಮೂರ್ ಫಿಂಗರ್ಸ್ ನ ಫಿಂಗರ್ ಟಿಪ್ಸ್ ನ ಆಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ನ ಅಪ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡೌನ್ ಮೂವ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ತೋರಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ನೋಡಿ ಆರು ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಆ ತರ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಸೈಡು ವೆಜ್ಜಸ್ ಸರ್ಕಲ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ನೀವೇನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅದು ಅರೌಂಡ್ ದ ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಮೋಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅವಾಗ ಲಂಪ್ ಏನಾದ್ರೂ ಇದ್ರೆ ಸಿಕ್ ಹಾಕೊಂಡ್ಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಏನಾದ್ರೂ ಕಲರ್ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಇದೆಯಾ ಅಥವಾ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ರೆಡ್ನೆಸ್ ಏನಾದ್ರೂ ಇದೆಯಾ ನಿಪ್ಪಲ್ ಏನಾದ್ರೂ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿದೆಯಾ ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಸ್ಕಿನ್ ಏನಾದ್ರೂ ಡಿಂಪ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಇದೆಯಾ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಪಕ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಇದೆಯಾ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಚರ್ ಹಾರ್ಡ್ ಆಗಿದೆಯಾ ಎಲ್ಲಾದ್ರೂ ಮತ್ತೆ ನಿಪ್ಪಲ್ ಡಿಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ನಿಪ್ಪಲ್ ಫ್ಲೂ ಲೀಕ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆಯಾ ಇವೆಲ್ಲ ಚೆಕ್ ಯುವರ್ ಬ್ರೆಸ್ ಅಟ್ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಮಂತ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ಸ್ ರೇಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಆರ್ಮ್ಸ್ and make sure you check the breast opposite breast with each of your hand use your fingertips try to do a circular motion and do not forget to examine the wedges of the breast and make sure you also examine your breasts on the mirror to check for color changes or changes in texture or any fluid idana nimge youtube videos sigutte actually you can go to some of these good sites where you can breast self examination and taidaga youtube alu you will be able to identify this but please do this and we recommend that every person who is above uh, you know in the reproductive age group and the 18 years in the navy we actually insist that everybody checks their breasts i'm sh- i'm ho- i hope you are clear about it i mean next to two important things that people actually uh come and approach us one is fibrocystic disease in on the fibro
ಕೆಲವ್ರಿಗೆ ಒಂದ್ ಲಂಪ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಕೆಲವ್ರಿಗೆ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪಲ್ ಲಂಪ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಅಂತ ಸಿಚುವೇಶನ್ ಅಲ್ಲೂ ನೀವು ಅಲ್ಟ್ರಾಸೌಂಡ್ ಮಾಡಿಸ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಕೆಲವು ಆಂಟಿ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ವಿಟಮಿನ್ ಇ ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ಕೆಲವ್ರಿಗೆ ಅದ್ರಲ್ಲೇ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಗ್ಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಬಟ್ ಅದೇ ತರ ಪರ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಇದ್ರೆ ಆ ತಿಂಗಳು ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಯೂಶಲಿ ಅದು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಬಟ್ ಏನು ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಆನ್ ಫಾಲ್ ಯು ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ಏಬಲ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈ ವಾಟ್ ಅಭಿನಯ ಲಂಪ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಲಂಪ್ ಆರ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ನೀಡ್ಸ್ ಇವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಯೇಷನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಐ ಡಿಂಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಮಿಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸಿಂಗ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಸೊ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೀಡ್ ಟು ಗಿರಿಜಾ ಗಿರಿಜಾ ಡು ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎನಿ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಆಸ್ಕ್ yeah yeah uh, related to cervical cancer or breast breast cancer like how to take the precautions yes like so, uh, we want to know before only before only doing that self examination before that like precautions anything like that improve your lifestyle drink lots of water okay. make sure you exercise don't gain much weight okay all right and if you are pregnant you breastfeed your baby if you are in the reproductive age group if you are taking family planning pills make sure you consult with your doctor don't take it indefinitely okay. so all of these can contribute and if in case you have a first degree relative like an aunt or uh, you know somebody who is very closely related to you or a sister or a mother who's had breast cancer then you should be screened more often this is with respect to breast cancer with respect to cervical cancer i think we are doing a nationwide drive on vaccination of Uh, so for people uh, against cervical cancer so basically now the indian academy of pediatrics recommends giving a vaccine between 9 to 16 years of age two doses of hpv vaccine which can be given to all young adolescent girls it can be given even to boys all right only two doses are given 9 to 16 years of age but I, if you have crossed 16 you will require three doses of hpv vaccine there are two kinds of hpv vaccine one is the quadrivalent where you are looking at only those kinds of human papilloma virus which causes cervical cancer four strains okay you get protection up to 98% of the times but if you are using an extended vaccine which has nine strains of hpv vaccine you also get protected against cancers of the skin rectum as well as other genital cancers which are caused by human papilloma virus okay cervical cancer is mostly caused by human papilloma virus so you have a vaccination all of you who have not got vaccinated please reach out to us we are vaccinating you we can protect you 98% of times from best from cervical cancer in fact every 8 minutes there is a lady who is dying of cervical cancer cervical cancer happens because there is repeated infections the cervix becomes infected with human papilloma virus and this virus particular strains can result in cervical cancer all right so it is very important that you also get your pap smear along with hpv screening once in 5 years all right and and make sure your in spite of the vaccine you should get yourself tested because the vaccine protects you after a certain age but there has been some exposure before that all right so these are some things that you have to remember as women it is our most important duty to be aware of these things and also spread this message across all other women because ultimately these things can be prevented i i mean breast cancer ke vaccination anta illa you should be ಮೋರ್ ಪ್ರಿವೆಂಟಿವ್ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಹಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನೋಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ನೀವು ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋತಾ ಇರಬೇಕು ಆ ಥರ ಏನಾದರೂ ಡೌಟ್ ಇದ್ದರೆ ಗೈನಕಾಲಜಿಸ್ಟ್ ಹತ್ರ ಚೆಕ್ ಮಾಡಿಸ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಲೈಫ್ ಸ್ಟೈಲ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನೋಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಯು ಅಬೌಟ್ ಓ ಸಿ ಪೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೋಸ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಐ ಮೂವ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ರಂಜಿನಿ ರಂಜಿನಿ ಡ್ಯೂ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಎಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಈಗ ನಾನು ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಫೀಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರೋದು ಮಗುಗೆ ಏಟ್ ಮಂತ್ಸ್ ಇರ
ಸೊ ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಫೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ತನಕ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಈಗ ನೀವ್ ಹೇಳದ್ರೆ ಯಾರ್ ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಫೀಡ್ ಮಾಡೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅವ್ರ ಮಗುಗೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ಆಗೋ ಚಾನ್ಸಸ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇರತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಸೊ ಈಗ ನಾನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಬಟ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಆ ಮಗು ಎಷ್ಟು ಏಜ್ ತಲುಪೋ ತನಕ ಫೀಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಫೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕ್ಲೂಸಿವ್ ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಫೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಫಾರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಂತ್ ಆರ್ ತಿಂಗಳವರೆಗೂ ನೀವು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕ್ಲೂಸಿವ್ ಆಗಿ ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಫೀಡ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಯೂಶಲಿ ಬೈ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಏಟ್ ಟು ನೈನ್ ಮಂತ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ವೀನ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಯಾಕೆಂದ್ರೆ ಮಗುಗೇನು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟಿವ್ ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜ್ ಸಿಗಲ್ಲ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಹಲ್ ಬಂದಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಬೇರೆ ತರ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಷನ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ನ ಅವಾಯ್ಡ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ನೀವು ಟೂ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಫೀಡ್ ಮಾಡೋ ನೆಸೆಸಿಟಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಫೀಡ್ ಮಾಡೋದ್ರಿಂದ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಸೆಪ್ಟಿವ್ ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜ್ ನೀವು ಪ್ರೆಗ್ನೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಅನ್ನೋದೂ ತಪ್ಪು ಸೊ ನಾವೇನು ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಮಿನಿಮಮ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಂತ್ಸ್ ನೀವು ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಫೀಡ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ಬರ್ತ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬೇಬಿ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಗಿವ್ ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಿಲ್ಕ್ ಅದಾದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಯು ಗಿವ್ ಟಾಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವೀನ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಏಟ್ ಟು ನೈನ್ ಮಂತ್ಸ್ and then uh, i think there is archana is archana here is archana nagendra around has archana joined or she's left she's not joined back is it okay fine so basically these are important things that i wanted to communicate through this session this is not just the end all but at least you should know these kinds of uh, details so that you can protect yourself against the possibility of breast cancer all right so if you have anything else apart from these questions anybody can feel free to ask a question this is just an open house question i would like to ask dr aishwarya here yes aishwarya tell me yeah i would like to know if uh, breast cancer will affect both the breasts or it is only one breast that is one question another one is how do you identify the lump a soft lump or a hard lump which is more serious okay so basically breast cancer need not affect both the breast all the time all right there are certain varieties where both breasts may be simultaneously affected but it's not a general rule this is something that you have to know and yeah you were talking about the lump right usually there is always a clinical examination just like you know anybody who presents to us in the opd and says there's a lump the doctor will first identify how it feels to the palm of the hand but that may be very subjective but hard lumps are usually picked up also then i also told you that there is this tool called elastography right which actually helps us to identify the consistency of the lump so this will easily let us know and this is a very objective way of identifying whether the lump is hard or soft so okay thank you doc yes so i think um or you can also ask yeah so with this i think i would want all of my panelists to give one line message okay to all those people who are listening out there see ultimately any empowerment stems out of education unless and until we propagate the scientific information to all the patients or acquaintances or to the community and the doctors are also equipped with the latest scientific advances these problems will continue to be increasing in the society so as patient representatives i want you all to actually give me one point so that you know others are also confident that yes you know we will also try to educate ourselves and be more prepared uh, about such adverse problems that can occur to us so kesia would you want to say one line message to all those who are listening to you yes ma'am breast cancer is uh, all about hormones genetics and lifestyle that's what i learned today and we should be watchful of our family members as well what's going on with the family so that uh, we'll also be careful yes. in the future days 
yes so i think this was a small um, capsule which kind of alerted you about what are the factors that you should bear in mind and you know it is very neglected people don't really take care of the breasts they're only preoccupied with the uterus and the ovaries because they want to have children but they really don't take care of themselves as a whole i see so many women who don't take care of their medical health they neglect their sugars they neglect their medical issues like thyroid problems and those kinds of things they are not careful about their breast health so it is very important that they actually take consider themselves in a very comprehensive manner okay uh, girija do you want to say something uh, to the audience what is the message that you want to give at the end of this session the message is for every disease is a thing as precaution is better than cure so people have to know about the precautions how should be taken that must be educated That's correct yes thank you so much for that girija precaution prevention is better than cure especially in breast cancer and and being alert helps a lot so that early diagnosis can make a difference because you know you may not be you can do all the preventive strategies but if something has happened be alert aishwarya do you want to say something yes doctor uh, i would like to say that uh, we should not uh, be negligent and uh, should not shy away from uh, asking uh, even if it's the silliest of the doubts just get it clarified from uh, a gynecologist other uh, concerned uh, doctors correct that's a very important point because i actually encounter a lot of women who do not want to tell me about the lumps in the breast they tell me only towards the end so this should not happen you should ask your gynecologist and aishwarya put this very important point that you don't have to shy away from asking questions that is very important thank you so much aishwarya i think archana has appeared now Uh, Archana, do you want to ask a question regarding breast health that you have in mind? Archana, okay. Ranjini is around. Yes, Ranjini. Ni ve na dro help ek onta idira. Ni unmute mat kodi please. Unmute mat kodi. ಇಲ್ಲ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಡೌಟ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಆಯ್ತು ನೀವೇನ್ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ಕೊಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಇದೀರಾ ನೀವೇನ್ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ಕೊಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಇದೀರಾ ನಮ್ಮ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ನಾವ್ ನೋಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಅದು ತುಂಬಾ ಸಿವಿಯರ್ ಆಗ ತನಕ ಬಿಡಬಾರದು ಈ ತರ ಸೆಷನ್ ಅಟೆಂಡ್ ಮಾಡಿದಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದ್ ಅವೇರ್ನೆಸ್ ಬಂತು ಪ್ರಿಕಾಷಿಯಸ್ ಆಗಿರೋದು ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಸೊ ನೀವು ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಟ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲಾರ್ಗು ಹೇಳ್ತೀರಾ ಅಬೌಟ್ how to take care of their breast health self examination bage hel kodbeku nanu nan mane idre please nan akka pakka iro ladies na kapad kon kapad kodbeku anta anasu ee session attend madadmele because menopause agiro jana thumba idare nan age group or thumba jana idare eshtu jana kinno information gottilla so anta avarge at least breast cancer awareness breast self examination matte cervical cancer vaccine if you do no please tell your friends and families because if all they go a long way in reducing the incidence of this problem in our country and i think pavitra join agidara pavitra illa okay archana are you there archana i don't think she is answering all right so i think what i want to say is communities and countries and ultimately the world are only as strong as the health of their women it is health that is real wealth and not pieces of gold and silver a woman's health is her capital so these are some things that i want to emphasize so please understand i feel a lot of women are motivated to take care of themselves when they want to get pregnant but they do not take care of themselves as ardently as they would take care their of their pregnancy so please no understand that you should take care of your health beyond pregnancy you should reach out to your gynecologist if you have a doubt make sure because breast cancer and cervical cancer can ultimately if neglected you know kill women and these are some things that you have to bear in mind to make sure you're healthy so everything revolves around a good lifestyle good uh, practices like drinking lots of water and making sure 
that you know you avoid you know some kinds of foods like tin foods and those kinds of things which are like kind of similar to every uh, cancer so i hope that you actually follow a healthy lifestyle be alert take preventive care reach out to your gynecologist and also spread this message of awareness to the community and we are going to host this on our website we will send this across to everybody who are associated with mirror health about 1700 contacts so that this would serve as a you know as an initiator for them to learn more about breast cancer and its effects so wishing you all again on international women's health day i'm so glad that all of you are champions uh, who can make a difference to the health of women around you i think archana is asking a question yes archana you can ask me this question uh i'm sorry i had to leave the call in between and i rejoin yeah. Uh, yeah. I think if you can help us with more sessions like this, because uh, yesterday I came in very late and uh, I couldn't contact a lot of people uh, post our meeting, right? Yes. And uh, there are a lot of people who hesitate to ask. Correct. Uh, I think this is a great platform uh, where, you know, uh, you, you have, all the languages are encouraged. Exactly. Not, not everybody knows English. So Correct. you have been very accommodative and uh, it is very easy to approach you. Right, we don't have a fear that your doctor, your other head, but I ain't go but you know, no fear is not there with me, right? So okay. I thought uh, if you can have more sessions, at least uh, weekly once or twice, I will uh, make sure a lot of my people will join, uh, and a few of my relatives have lost their lives because of breast cancer. Uh, one is that they're heather ke heel dray ain't agat ya no baya. So and one is the age factor that they're very scared. Yar no pull tarai if medical bills come. So keeping all this in mind, uh, the doctor under they'll be very scared to approach. I think it's a great platform. In la distance, Nano, they can join, they can freely talk to you, uh, get to know more about this. Yes, that's a very important uh, su uh, uh, suggestion, Archana, because ultimately it's about knowledge sharing and education for empowerment. Uh, we are calling this series as Swastya, basically, Mirror Swastya, where we are coming uh, to your homes on Zoom. And we will do it once in every month. And it will be on a very important topic, which will influence your health. And we will try to involve as many from our, uh, you know, archives so that you know they also get to ask their questions and we will reach out to all of them and like all your contacts that you can actually share this this is going to be on youtube archana and you can share it across yes. with any one of your contacts and we will make sure that the basic doubts are cleared through this session i'm i cannot say that i can clear everything about breast cancer or everything about cervical cancer. it cannot happen but at least it will initiate a uh, kind of a process where you will start learning about it, you will start empowering about it, you will spread this message in the community and you can ask for more. So I will also cover some of the important topics that you should know by default, which can uh, which can probably influence your health in a very positive way. way. So with this, I, I think, think we uh, all need a doctor. You know, uh, even though we are educated, we are working outside. Uh, to be very honest, there are so many things that I myself don't know. Uh, exactly. It can be uh, a part of a hygiene. I think I, I am uh, doing a very good uh, practice of hygiene, but probably missing a lot of things. Yes. Right? Correct. This is a platform where uh, nobody is judged. Right? Exactly. That is what we all need. Uh, and yes, I will, that's what I, I, I should ever say. stupid or silly. <laughs> but no, no, yeah, no. For me, let me tell you when you ask questions, you always get some answers. When you don't ask questions, there are high chances that you miss it. In fact, I encourage this. In all my women, most of these are pregnant, but even beyond pregnancy, I think they have inculcated this habit of asking questions. And in fact, your gynecologist is not somebody who is, uh, you know, who has to be approached only when there is a problem. Your gynecologist is your best friend. So, and she is kind of approachable even to ask questions. We've gone all the way to make sure that the session is set up effectively. So until next, we will catch up soon. Bye.